from Sheikh Uthman. What is that act? Yes, mashallah. And you, Jannah, Amin, Ya Rab. Uh -huh. So, a week ago, almost a week ago, you asked Sheikh Osman how to find a good wife. Mm -hmm. So, you asked him two methods to find a good wife. You asked him about dating app. He said no. And he, you asked what about uh, OnlyFan. He's like, I don't know what his uh, OnlyFan is. This is totally fine. Yeah. Um, Sheikh Osman doesn't use those methods, he uses a better method. Exactly, totally different. That's what fits his style, subhanAllah. May Allah guide us all. So who you will wait, I'm going to tell you the, <laughs> the process. He is going to wait for a friend and see if he can help him. For example, um, a brother, which is me, I reached out for him because he's a sheikh to fix our marriage. So what I did is I gave him Hold on. Before you continue, there's a picture on the top. I want to show it to you. He is posting it. Sheikh Uthman married us in the same day of this picture. So, uh, because Uthman supposedly is the imam of the mosque where they live, so this guy, he married an Islamic marriage. And who is the one who performed the ceremony, which is a stupid ceremony, like they put a tissue from the kitchen and the top of their hands, and they say, do you accept this woman, blah, 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 you know. Anyway, so Sheikh Uthman is the one who performed their marriage, and they are close friends, very, very, very close. They are brothers. They are really brothers. And as you see here, he took a picture with Sheikh Uthman the day Uthman married him as a sheikh, to his wife. Now, for sure, you will not see the wife because the wife's Muslims, you know, she will be in the bed waiting naked. So, uh, Uthman is the one who did the ceremony of marriage between this guy and his wife. Okay. So now we continue because you you know, like in the in the video, you did not see that part where he is showing. That's why I wanted to stop the video so you can see uh, a better image. All right. So now. Uh, let us go a little bit back so we can, you know, carry on. So who you will wait, I'm going to tell you the, <laughs> the process. He is going to wait for a friend. Guys, what is the problem? The guy, he got married from other women, from a woman. Sheikh Uthman is the son, the one who performed the marriage. What the problem? Why, we, why this need explanation? This guy talking about his wife. He married us. Us. Do you think he married Uthman? Like, does it come to your mind that he is saying that he married from Uthman? So he married his wife, and the one who performed the marriage is Uthman. Is it complicated? All right. So, oh boy those methods he uses a better method exactly totally different. so they ask as nico he asked Uthman how to find a wife as uh, nico he want to find a wife i mean <laughs> i mean those guys they sleep with women every day i don't know and most the women you know just uh, you know just to show you how cheap this religion is is just wait because there's more videos to show i mean go you. may allah and you Jannah, Amin, Ya Rab. So, a week ago, almost a week ago, you asked Sheikh Osman how to find a good wife. So, you asked him two methods to find a good wife. You asked him about dating app. He said no. And he, you asked what about uh, OnlyFan. He's like, I don't know what his uh, OnlyFan is. This is totally fine. Yeah. Um, Sheikh Osman doesn't use those methods. He uses a better method. Like what? Exactly, totally different. What? That's what fits his style, subhanAllah. May Allah guide us all. Uh -huh. So who you will wait, I'm going to tell you the, <laughs> the process. Yeah. He is going to wait mm -hmm. for a friend uh -huh. and see if he can help him. Oh. For example. Example. Um, a brother, mm -hmm. which is me, uh -oh. I reached out for him because he's a sheikh to fix our marriage. So what I did is... I gave him my wife's number because we have some trouble between I had trouble between me and my wife. So I guys is his sound good? 
Is his voice coming good? Somebody's saying put his sound higher. Do you hear his voice fine? Is his voice in the video is fine? So the one is complaining, obviously you have your, you know, the problem from your side. So, okay. So this guy, he have a problem with his wife, which he married, which he married through Uthman, because Uthman is a sheikh, as you see. So, which is normal for him. He have a problem. It's like, you know, you, you married in a church and the priest there, this is the priest of your church. And he is the one who married it, your wife. So you ask him, can you like, you know, uh, talk to her, you know, help us to solve the problem. So it's, things can happen this way. Nothing wrong with it now. So he is doing the right thing. I mean, he go to the sheikh, who he trusts most, and he is a friend to him. And always they take pictures and they praise each other. And now he have a problem. Um, so he went to Uthman, asking for help. To fix what? His marriage. Uthman, for sure, he will fix it very well. I reached out for him, because he's a sheikh, to fix our marriage. So what I did is, I gave him my wife's number, because we have some trouble between, I had trouble between me and my wife. So I trusted Sheikh Osman, I know him, and then I was on his table in Balboa Park. MashaAllah, he's one of the du'at here, he went on a cross-country du'at. Would... Look, he is praising him now, you know, the guy, you know, MashaAllah. The, the funny is, you will find every scumbag from those Muslims in YouTube, they say MashaAllah. MashaAllah, his wife, her ass is beautiful. MashaAllah, her vagina is delicious. MashaAllah, I'm going to take her from her husband. MashaAllah, he's looking at his victim. So you see, he is praising the husband. They are friends, mashallah. They are a very religious community. I mean, what we can say, I mean, you have to take it as it is. Mashallah, you know. So, you know, mashallah, etc. Uh, man, his wife, she's something, huh? Mashallah. Yeah, we have to praise Allah for that. I gave him my wife's number. Because we have what you did, what you did. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you are a Muslim conservative. You make videos to spread Islam. You grow a beard. You claim you are doing dawah. And you idiot. You give your phone, your wife phone number to Uthman. And what happened next? Wait for a friend and <laughs> see if he can help him. For example, um, a brother, which is me, I reached out for him because he's a sheikh to fix our marriage. We will fix so it. What I did is I gave him my wife's number uh -huh. because we have some trouble between, I had trouble between me and my wife. Mm -hmm. So I trusted Sheikh Osman. I know him. And then I was on his table in Balboa Park. MashaAllah. Masha he went on a cross country downward trip. So I gave him <laughs> her number. Uh huh. To fix our marriage. He fixed it right? very much, yeah. And then yeah. after two days, my wife, uh -huh. she completely blocked me. Uh -oh. And I know nothing about her. S I Stop. I mean, let us be honest here. You ask him to fix the marriage. She fixed it. He fixed it for you. That's it. No headache. She blocked you. Now, remember this woman, she is his wife still. They are not divorced. She just, she just left the house. So even legally in the state, she cannot go and marry a different person, you know? And even in the state, if she sleep with a different man, she is fornicating, you know? This is a fornication, nothing more. Uh, so what happened now? After he gave his phone number to Sheikh Uthman, because Sheikh Uthman is the good man you can trust, to speak to your wife, Halal, uh, his wife, suddenly she blocked him. She didn't want to talk to him just two days after. Man, Sheikh Uthman must be very fast. Don't you think, you idiot? He, he's speaking to her already for a long time. I think what happened, that his wife, when she is talking to him, she told him, why you don't let Sheikh Uthman to talk to me? So she want to make it like, you know, in case he discovered that he is talking to her. Because there is no way. In two days, in two days, 48 hours. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
after Osman get involved, she blocked you. <laughs> okay, what happened? So uh, Sheikh Osman now he texts her, he call her. They speak, and you know the camera is on, mashallah. And uh, he advised her to do what? It's our marriage, right? Mm. And then after two days, yeah, my wife, mm -hmm. she completely blocked me. Yeah, and I know nothing about her. Oof. And I told Sheikh Osman, what happened? Why, why she doesn't talk to me? She's like, she doesn't want you. That's it. Yeah. Ah, Sheikh Osman, he was sent to fix it. He told him, just uh, don't talk to her, man. She don't want you. That's it. No negotiation. Why? Because Uthman, he took the wife. <laughs> uh, don't bother her anymore. I'm like, okay. I was like, okay, well, this is my fate. So um, I got suspicious a little bit. Like, what's going on? So somebody told me that she got married, like, after a month of... What? Somebody told him, I'm just showing you what he didn't talk married as a second wife and she cannot reveal his identity so he's talking about a video made by his wife uh, speaking that she got married to a husband but she cannot reveal his identity remember Lili Dawa making a video about second wife <laughs> this is the islamic society <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh boy so listen the wife she made a video saying that she got married but you cannot get married you are still married how, how you get married you're not divorced yet and, and and she cannot reveal the one who married her why because it's secret marriage ah uh, Okay, so now this guy, he became more suspicious. Why she do not reveal the name of the husband? What's going on? Me, of, uh, of our separation. I was like, this is weird. This is not Islamic way. And then she's still my wife. Why? She married somebody else. How she married? Like, this is weird. She's a very private person. She doesn't talk to... I can tell she is very private, especially when we hear her, her video. You can't tell, man. I mean, this woman, she is a private. No comment. Any guys, okay? So, subhanAllah. She didn't talk to any guys. She talked only to Sheikh Osman, you know? <laughs> I want to ask you how you met her. Huh? As long as she didn't talk to any guy. Aren't you a guy too? <laughs> or at that day when she started, started to talk to you, at that time you were a girl. Uh, she didn't talk to any guys. Ah, mean, yeah, you, you remind me of a joke, like, you know, the guy, he told his friend that his uh, fiancé is virgin. He said, really? I said, yeah. I said, how do you know? She said, she never saw a private man like, like this before. <laughs> I mean, she saw like a thousand private parts before. I'm not going to the dirty world, but she never noticed something like this before. She is a virgin, man. She is very virgin. Okay, okay, so sorry for, you know, tell us the story, go ahead. Of, uh, of our separation. I was like, this is weird. This is not Islamic way. And then she's still my wife. Why she married somebody else? I'm like, this is weird. She's a very private person. She doesn't talk to any guys, okay? So, subhanAllah, subhanAllah, I did some research, uh -huh. and I found out yeah. that Osman married my wife. Oh, he can marry her, she's married. Instead of fixing my marriage, uh -huh. he married her. Uh -huh. Still, she's still married to me. Oh. Osman, he married the married women. Married to you? Uh, uh, can you repeat the sentence? This is not an Islamic way. And then she's still my wife. Okay. I was like, okay, well, this is my fate. So um, I got suspicious a little bit. Like, what's going on? So somebody told me that she got married, like, after a month of me 
of uh, of our separation. I was like, this is weird. This is not Islamic way. And then she's still my wife. Why? She married somebody else. I'm like, this is weird. She's a very private person. Very she private. doesn't talk to any guys. Absolutely. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, subhanAllah, I did some research and yeah. I found out that Osman married my wife. Mm-hmm. Instead of fixing my marriage, he married her. Excuse me. He, this is the very much perfect fixing. What are you talking about? He fix everything. <laughs> I mean, he was busy for the last 48 hours fixing stuff. What are you talking about? You know, secret wife. And, you know, this is, by the way, it's a crime in California. You can go to jail and the police should investigate because now actually there's a proof of it. Later, you will hear a phone conversation between him and Uthman. He forced Uthman to divorce his wife. This guy, obviously, he blackmailed him. He will report him to the authority. So Uthman, he recorded Uthman divorcing his wife. But I don't want to burn the movie for you. You know, you cannot tell the Arab a movie. You cannot take him. He will tell you the movie before you watch it. Anyway, so, okay, now, so what happened? So, subhanAllah, I did some research. And I found out yeah. that Osman married my wife. Instead of fixing my marriage, he married her. Mm. Still, she's still married to me. Uh-huh. Islamic is still married to me. Subhanallah. May Allah guide him. I don't know. Subhanallah. This is not Islamic. Do you think Allah did not guide him by making this happening and fixing your wife? What are you talking about? Isn't it the Quran says everything happened to you by the will of Allah? Bad or good? Now you deny destiny? It's destiny. When they ask Muhammad about uh, fornication, he says everybody, he, every human being, he have his fortune of adultery, which he can, must commit as his fate. So this is Allah, you know, Allah, he made this happen, brother. Allah behind it. Allah made you give his uh, phone number to your wife. I think she, you know, he have it already. Uh, Allah made him, you know, like each other to go to bed. And Allah, you know, made uh, him fix uh, the problem. So, what happened? My wife. Instead of fixing my marriage, he married her. Still, <laughs> she's still married to me. Islamic is still married to me. SubhanAllah. May Allah guide him. I don't know. Subhanallah. This is not Islamic. This is not. I don't know what to say. Subhanallah. Not Islamic. Isn't it your prophet? He took his own son wife. What are you talking about? Isn't it your prophet? He went to his own son wife when she was at the house of the husband and he flirted with her and he said to her, please be to Allah, the one who made my heart to flip for you. See, Allah is the one who made his heart to flip for her and his penis too. Come on, brother. This is very Islamic. What are you talking about? If your prophet did it, why Uthman, the catcher boy, would not do it? You know, he was catching up with your wife. So this is the way that uh, Uthman pick up his wives. And guess what? She's a second wife. And then this is the testimony of my wife that how did she find the new husband? Oh, now listen, guys, his wife is the one she is very private. Remember, he said she is very private. She doesn't talk about anyone, but she is posting this online. <laughs> listen, you judge. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Alaikum So I'm a second wife. My husband had a first wife before we got married. Him and I were not looking to get married, like, at all. Um... There was a guy that was trying to marry me, and he gave... There was a guy, he was uh, trying to marry me. See, I told you, this is not 48 hours. You see? There is a guy, he was trying to marry me. And she's talking about what's going on when she is married. There is a guy who is trying to marry me. Simply, she is cheating with him. He's, you know, they are, you know. So there is a guy trying to marry me, but she is married. How he is trying to marry her, and how it is that he is trying to marry her, and she is married, and Uthman he just got the phone number forty-eight hours, as the guy said. So obviously they are talking to each other, and there is some kind of chukutuku 
for a while. So this is the wife talk, uh, t t in, uh, t in her story, how uh, she found the new husband in eBay. Of me, of, uh, of our separation. I was like, this is weird. This is not Islamic way. And then she's still my wife. Why? She married somebody else. I'm like, this is weird. She's a very private person. She doesn't talk to any guys. Okay. So subhanAllah, I did some research mm -hmm. and I found out that Osman married my wife. Instead of fixing my marriage, he married her. Still, she's still married to me. Islamic is still married to me. SubhanAllah. May Allah guide him. I don't know. SubhanAllah. This is not Islamic. <laughs> this is not I don't know what to say. That's Islamic, absolutely. Yeah. So this is the way that uh, Osman pick up his wives. And guess what? She's a second wife. And then this is the testimony of my wife that how did she find the new husband? You judge. Assalamu alaikum. So I'm a second wife. My husband had a first wife before we got married. Him and I were not looking to get married, like, at all. Um... There was a guy that was trying to marry me, and he gave my current husband my number saying, please call her, call her for me, blah, blah, blah. Did you hear it? This guy is telling the truth. There's a guy trying to marry me, and my husband gave him the number. <laughs> He's not lying. This is what happened. We just heard it. So there is a guy trying to marry me, and my husband, he gave him the number. <laughs> you know what? I was actually, I have a headache. I don't want to go uh, uh, online, but I saw this story. I said, I, I better go. I was planning to go tomorrow. Uh, I have a like, light headache, but yeah, my brother, your wife, she, she made my headache fly. So your wife, she just said that the guy you gave your, the number of your wife to him, already he is trying to marry her, trying, trying. And the husband, he gave her a new husband, the number, and he said to her, call her, call her. <laughs> That's a good one. I love it. So I'm a second wife. My husband had a first wife before we got married. Him and I were not looking to get married, like, at all. Just a casual sex, you know. We are not looking to get married. It's just like boom, boom, here, there, you know. Like, you know, are you bored? Okay, join in the board, you know. Take a ticket. All right. That how did she find the new husband? You judge. Salam alaikum. So I'm a second wife. My husband had a first wife before we got married. Him and I were not looking to get married, like, at all. Um, there was a guy that was trying to marry me, and he gave my current husband my number saying, please call her, call her for me, blah, blah, blah. And he called, and he was like, look, I'm only calling you because this guy won't get off my butt. And we talked. Osman, he told you that this guy, he didn't want to get off his butt? That is very sexual, too. What do you mean his butt? You just said he's trying to marry you. What do you mean I'm only calling you? Okay, and what happened? For like two hours, we ended up really being fond of each other. Uh oh, it took us man two hours. Guys, he called the women because the husband asked him to call the wife. After two hours, they are in love. <laughs> Two hours. <laughs> how many days? How many days? <laughs> Two hours. <laughs> I mean, she must be a very, very decent. Listen, she knew she is married. She knew that this guy, the sheik, after two hours, Osman, he said to her, do you like me? Do you? Do you? Do you miss me? Do you? Do you? Do you want me? Do you? Do you? Let us do it. Let us do it. Let me do Do you? She answered, yes, I do. 
Ask Lily Dow where to bring him with you because he's a female and doesn't count as a man like you. Hello? What the heck? Two hours? I mean, Prophet Muhammad took him longer. Who in the world would believe that in two hours you found that you are... What, what, what? Just say again, what? The guy that was trying to marry me and he gave my current husband my number saying please call her call her for me blah 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 and he called me he was like look i'm only calling you because this guy won't get off remember she just said but this guy he's trying to marry me so sheikh Uthman was hitting on, on her long time ago did, did you know what he said there's a guy trying to marry me trying trying now the husband he told Uthman to call her the same guy who is trying to marry her many many times he called her now, and he told her, I'm not, I'm calling you just because your husband is, I want to get him out of my butt. And then two hours, two hours later. So I'm a second wife. My husband had a first wife before we got married. Him and I were not looking to get married, like, at all. Um, there was a guy that was trying to marry me, and he gave my current husband my number saying please call her call her for me blah, blah blah and he called me he was like look i'm only calling you because this guy won't get off my butt and we talked for like two hours we ended up really being fond of each other he told me i'll find a, a husband for you i said okay I'm you will find a husband for her what a service he is doing for her he is doing it charity. La 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 la. I wanna be a sheikh. Oh la la. All women just call me. I can find a husband for you beside me. La 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 la. What the heck? And this guy in yellow, he's saying, how can he allow himself to speak to his friend wife this way? <laughs> so this idiot, he gave the phone number to Uthman. Uthman, he called the women. Two hours, they like each other. And Uthman, he said, I will find your husband. Just worry, you know, I'm coming to you tonight to find your husband. <laughs> I'll make sure you approve. He said, no, I'm going to find a husband for you. Uh, no, listen, listen. She said to him, I want to be sure that you approve. Uthman have to approve the husband. He is her daddy, mommy, daddy, family. Uthman. <laughs> you see what is the duty of Uthman in San Diego? He is working so hard. <laughs> I said, okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. And then we ended up getting married. Uh... We ended up getting married. That's it? You jump there? What happened between? Come on. What do you mean you and all of this is in a few days? Man. So far. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh, brother Sneeko. MashaAllah, God bless you. May Allah and you. Okay, this is the same video. Let us go to the second video. Shall we? Shall we? Is Uthman a Zani, which means he is a fornicator? One. So now, <clears throat> this guy, he asks Nico to ask Uthman an honest question. How many wives you have? One. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brother Nico. I hope you're doing well. I have a request. Can you ask Sheikh Osman how many wives he had last October? And then ask him again. Last October? It is any update for, we are in November now. <laughs> uh, you know, Osman, he married her for a few weeks and this guy, he forced him to divorce, otherwise he will report him. So that guy, he dumped her. So they want to go to, uh, to jail, you know? So, uh, and he, uh, he recorded the phone call, actually. He would hear the phone calls. So go, go, tell us what happened. 
he had last October. And then ask him again, why you divorced your second wife 15 days ago? How many wives you have? One. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> you, know? you will notice how the liar, he took him, it took him some time to think about it. You see? No, notice, notice. The, the idiot Nico, he asked the question, right? Why Osman is pausing to think what he would say? Notice really carefully. One. Alhamdulillah. See? See the fake answer? Listen, listen. Second wife, 15 days ago. How many wives do you have?